this recording is for is an example calculation for determining how much heat burning a nut gives off and in order to heat some amount of water with it so that was discarded actually because for for your data it is it was discarded because it gives some incomplete data as well at some point actually it gave some wrong data but that's what I'm using it here for for this example calculation so I just put them in here the nuts that we used were almonds and they were two grams of almonds and unlike unlike like stated in the video which stated it somewhat wrong there were 70 milliliters I think that was mentioned in the video which is also 70 grams of water now here I need to uh, look up what the food value is for almonds and I do that on Wikipedia so here's almonds and then I scroll down to find the food value and it says 2420 kilojoules per 100 grams so that's what I'm gonna gonna use so 2420 kilojoules per 100 grams and so I have 2420 but I'm gonna write that as joules so joules whoops, 2 million four hundred twenty thousand joules per 100 grams so I'm gonna just get rid of a couple of zeros here so that I have it per gram and then I guess I have to change that these commas here so I have 24,200 joules per gram and so all I really need to do is multiply these two numbers and I come up with that in the process of burning those two almonds I come up with 48,400 joules as for the water I need to look up the specific heat capacity for water and that is 4.186 joules per gram you usually find that in your book and if it says per kilogram well then you have to convert and if it says calories per gram well then you have to convert and I also need the um, temperature increase and that the water started out at 20 degrees Celsius and then it the, when the nut started when the nut started burning it was at 48 degrees Celsius um, when I filmed that um, we weren't quite there yet as you see the um, the nuts were still burning so that means we have a temperature difference of 28 Celsius degrees and then multiplying these three numbers here and I do that on the side I come up with 70 grams times 4.186 joules per grams times and I forgot something here that unit is grams Celsius so it actually says 4.186 joules per grams and Celsius that's a specific heat capacity but the number stays the same so times 28 degrees Celsius and I come up with 8200 joules were absorbed by the water to heat it and so that comes out to an efficiency of 8,200 divided by 48,400 of 17%. And when you do your calculation with, with the numbers that are given in the next video, you will follow the same kind of calculation that I did here. And probably come up with something similar for the nuts that are used in the next video.